When you look around, our homes, hospitals, schools, and businesses are all benefiting from technology. And yet, how do consumers deal with this and protect themselves in this environment? I encourage you to think about three things when it comes to protecting and controlling your digital lives. First, today, people should engage with technology on their own terms. By this, what I mean is there are simple tools to help you protect your privacy and to be in control of how your data is used. And there's some simple steps you can take to start to engage with these tools. First, you can use a strong password and two-factor authentication. You can also limit the permissions and privacy settings that you have on your various apps. And you can use available dashboards to see what kind of information is being collected about you and what people know about you and apps know about you and whether you want that to continue. Now, second, I think you should have a healthy dose of skepticism when you share your information. If you don't know or understand why a service or a solution is asking for your information, or you don't recognize the business who sent you an offer in your inbox, then you don't have to share information and you don't have to engage. I encourage all of you to think of the delete button as your best friend. It will help you avoid phishing attacks and other cybersecurity threats that are on the rise and frankly, becoming much more sophisticated. So engage with businesses that you trust and that allow you to understand what is happening with your data and for what purpose it is being used. This allows you to be comfortable that your decisions about your data are gonna be honored. Now third, get involved in helping your legislators make meaningful progress that will help you gain more control over your data. Here in the United States, there is no comprehensive federal privacy law. Microsoft and other companies like it give people who use our services access to and control over their data, but not all companies do this. For this reason, we believe that we should have a federal law that offers privacy protection to everyone and requires every company to provide these kinds of tools and choice mechanisms. Consumers need to be vocal and supportive of their lawmakers at the state level and in Congress who are doing this kind of important work to make progress in this space. Everyone deserves privacy as a right, our kids especially and other companies would benefit when they know what they, can, what they can do and what they can't do, and when they have clear guardrails about how they should move forward. 2023 is shaping up to be an incredibly busy and important year in privacy. Be sure to stay informed and engaged on how and when you choose to share your data. <music>